Cat and Katie have just got a big upgrade. Literally. <laughs> this episode of Cat and Katie is made in collaboration with Verkakalpa.com. Hi, and welcome back to another Cat and Katie. If you are not familiar, this is the series where I, a humble British guy, try and make a Finnish recipe. Now, the recipe has been chosen by my wife, and as you may see here, um, I don't have much information. I don't even know what it is I'm supposed to be making. All I have are the instructions and the ingredients, which are both in Finnish. Now, I do have a little bit of extra help in this episode because today's video is sponsored by verkagompa.com and they have kindly given us a bunch of stuff to help me along my way trying to make this. And side note, Kat also ordered the stuff that I need for this video. She said every single one of them is essential. <laughs> we will see about that. But when we went over to the verkakalba.com store here in Helsinki, they have their rooftop terrace open now, which is open throughout the summer where they have tons and tons of grills and palios. Shall we have a, I guess you need some water first. There's a little rainwater in there. Have a little splash around. <laughs> After you. <laughs> and a lovely, lovely space where you can go and look out over Helsinki. I got my shoes on. In, we are in Finland after all. With a nice view of the ocean out there. And of course we went to pick up these things and if you've been watching my videos for a while now you'll know that me and uh, verkakapa.com store here in Helsinki uh, we're, we're like this. Now we're going to the, the, the motherland, the best place in Finland. Man, I can get lost in that place so easily. So many gadgets and stuff. Every time I go in there, uh, I, I usually like to book a couple of hours, you know, just so I can look around everything. <laughs> but we went to the kitchen section just to make sure there wasn't anything that we needed. Oh, we actually did buy a toaster. <laughs> but I was definitely tempted to uh, pick up a few other things, but you know, we had to focus. All of a sudden feel like I need one of these. We were not actually expecting this machine to be quite as big as it was. Although we were prepared, we did take uh, our son's pram and pushing a pram without a child in it does look a bit strange. Looks even stranger when you have a massive machine in there though. Okay guys, I need to introduce you to the newest member of our family. We haven't told anyone yet, but our new baby. We're so proud of him. Yeah, has its own pram and everything. But anyway. Without further ado, I feel like I'm stalling for time because uh, whew, I think this is going to be a doozy. All right, so let's check out the first instruction. Lioi tahiva kädenlem töiseen maitoon. Lisää suola, sokori ja munat sekoit. Thankfully, I understood that. Or at least I think I did. So we need to make hand warm, hand warm milk. Oh yeah, I've got all my stuff here. Okay, here's my milk. I'm feeling very confident. I understood instruction number one. Lisää jauhot. Vähitellen samalla hyvin vaivatte. I think this is that I that I add start adding the flour. Uh, it doesn't say there's two types of flour in this recipe, um, but I, I guess I'll just chuck it all in. I think it's telling me that I need to knead it well, but I have a machine for that now. <laughs> Finally, oops. I should probably read this. I just remembered about my milk. Is it hand warm? Oh, I think I've made it too hot. Okay, well, I can leave that to cool. The machine itself actually isn't that big. That's actually quite a nice surprise. I think Kat has been dreaming about having one of these for a long time. Now I realize why she's making me make whatever it is I am today. <laughs> she said this was essential. So uh... included in pack, we got a whisk, a dough hook, a K beater, whatever that is, a glass blender and a food mincer. Ugh. So this comes a food mincer. <laughs> oh, now I get it. Oh, everything is essential. So in the ingredients, it says Sika nauta jauheli jauheliha and she and she got a big slab of beef. She wants me to make my own jauheliha, my own mincemeat. All right, comes with a blender. I'm making some smoothies with this, buddy. Do I need the blender for this? I don't, I don't know, maybe. This is even more confusing in a way because like, I'm trying to think what in Finnish cuisine, what Finnish recipe needs mincemeat? And there's like a bunch of sugar 
and like flour. Okay, this is a chunky manual. And for anybody interested, this manual is also in Finnish and also Swedish, if you need that. The milk. I definitely think there's been a few occasions in Kadim Katia where my yeast technique hasn't been great, but I'm just gonna crumble this into the warm milk and give it a little stir. I actually have some new baking utensils here. Uh, Fiskars Functional Form Baking Set. I think I'm gonna need to open this. Still don't know how to get this out though. <laughs> There we go. Give this a quick wash, this is brand new. <laughs> this is gonna go in there. And then I need to add the salt, sugar, and eggs. Oh, I read something about Splash Guard. Splash Guard. Lisa Yaohot. Okay, so now we're putting in the flour. Oh, I think, ah, no, stop. Oh dear. I think my dough has gotten stuck to the, the thing. Enter my handy dandy tool. <laughs> okay, now I think I need the, the dough hook. And my handy dandy little brush is coming in useful. Look at this. <laughs> Everything is essential. Everything is essential. She knew I would make a mess. I know that that's not what this is for, just in case anyone's worried. Now the next part is Lisa something something boy. Put the butter. Where's the melted butter? Get it spinning. Look at it go. That feels doughy. Really doughy. Mmm. Okay, I don't know what that last sentence means. I'm gonna assume it's not important. <laughs> I don't see any ingredients in that sentence, so I think we're okay. <laughs> I'm gonna assume it's about letting it rise. Ooh, that's that's doughy. Yeah, because kaksi something, double, double in size. Salmista sillä aika täyte. Like the jauha liha. I don't have jauha liha. I have liha. <laughs> Time to make it. What has she got me doing? Ah, instructions. You can make sausage with this. And it also says for me to wash wash all the parts, so I better do that first. I, I'm starting to think that I need adult supervision for this. <laughs> I think I may be in way over my head here, but let's give it a try. I guess this is for pushing. <coughs> no idea, oh my God, what am I doing? Okay, here goes nothing. Whoa, come on, you can do it. And now I can have burgers every day. I honestly thought that was gonna be the hard part of this. So now it's just plain sailing from here, buddy. Yao ha liha. netto sipoli. Risit. Yao liha kattilaan. So do I need to put it in a pot? Yao liha liemi, which is the, the stock. Yeah, I think, we're, I think we've gotta cook, cook all this. And the best part is I still have no idea what we're making. <laughs> Is it a stew or something? But no, then why have we made dough? And also I just remembered on the ingredients there's two liters of rapeseed oil, which kind of suggests that we're deep frying. I, I think we used that when I made the kuma <laughs> koira. It's like donut, like donut, deep fry. So, we're, so we might be deep frying. Ah, Anna Kiohua Keskilämmöllä Kunnes Risit ovat kypsia. Until the rice is kypsia. Mausta. Okay, so we have to taste. No, spice. Mausta. Season. Or is it taste? <laughs> this could go horribly wrong. Well, the dough is rising nicely though. So obviously I didn't kill the yeast, so that's nice to know. In goes my homemade mincemeat. That's so cool. Yeah. I just wish I knew what it was that I was making. The meat. I assumed I was Why supposed to- Why do you have meat? <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> the mincing went very well. Okay. I know you were trying to trip me up on that, but it went very well. I figured it out, I think, right? Don't ask me. Okay, well, don't let me disturb you. So while the rice is cooking, the rice actually takes 40 minutes when you're making it as porridge, so I, I assume 
it's gonna be at least 40 minutes on the stove, which is probably another 20 minutes or so. But I thought I could move on to the next stage, uh, which is something to do with the dough. Vai va taikinasta ilmaku pois. Need from the dough ilmaku plat pois. Ilma, isn't that the word for weather? It's also the word for wind. Take the wind out. Take the, take the wind, is it bubbles? Oh, I can almost hear the air bubbles coming out of it, actually. This looks like a fantastic dough. I think this is the best dough that we've had on Katia so far. And the fact the machine did this uh, says a lot. Ja viistoista osaan ja yöditä palloiksi. So I need to make 15 balls out of this. Ah, now I'm looking down. It says piirakka. So it's a type of piirakka. I didn't think to, to look to see if they actually said the name of the thing in, <laughs> in the recipe. Piirakka. Liha piirakka, my favorite. Yes. How did I not get that before? How did it take me that long to get it? It must be, right? There's meat. I think there's a rice in the filling. Meat, dough, fried, deep fried. Oh, yeah. I love it so much. And I guess it's quite it's quite a summery thing, so that would that would make sense to have it now. I feel like I sound like a broken record when I say I don't know really what I'm doing. But I think the next step is to roll these out now to make the pie. They're all a little bit different sizes, but you know that that's okay. This is a great rolling pin, by the way. Nothing, nothing sticking to it, which is great. All right, fine, I'll read this. Something about egg, so a little egg wash, maybe, on top. And nip, nip it, nip it, nip it, nip it, nip it, stelle hyvin kiini. So something about making it well closed. I feel the need to make these into a little bit the shape of a Cornish pasty. So I'm gonna do that, a little, a little bit of a, British Finnish collaboration. That's what a Cornish pasty is basically. It's a it's a meat pie. But usually I think it has like potato and stuff in it. So okay, I'm not gonna do too many before I actually get the filling. Why was I gonna open the freezer to get baking paper? I am losing it. So here we go. A little bit of filling. Wait, what am I doing? I think I'm already doing this wrong. Ah, is the egg so that I can keep it like this? Is it like a sealant? Ah, I know. I know, I've seen this done before. Trusty little brush back for its actual purpose. Like so, okay, there we go. There's our first one. <laughs> I may have put a little bit too much stuff in there, but uh, I'm now thinking about the frying. That is gonna be way too big, um, but now I know. All right, so now onto the part that makes me the most nervous, and that is the hot oil, which is getting very hot behind me, and I just realized I had my back turned towards a big pan of boiling almost boiling <laughs> oil. I'm guessing that's why we have this uh, to make sure that we're getting to the right temperature, which is I think 180 degrees. Ah, I can set the temperature to 180, then I guess it'll beep when it's ready. And this time I actually have the right little ladle thing to be doing this. So uh, let's, let's see how this goes. Oh, I forgot to see how long they're supposed to be in like this. It doesn't say, I guess, till it goes golden brown or something. I feel like it should be sizzling more than this, but I'm just gonna try and flip it. Oh, it smells, it smells amazing. You can tell I'm getting confident. Now I have three at once going on here. So here it is. It looks pretty good. I, I just, I'm just so interested to see if I've cooked it through. Moment of truth. Wow, that is amazing. Mm. I think this is the best tasting thing yet on a cat and cake yeah. <laughs> Genuinely so good. It tastes like the real thing. So the kitchen is a mess. Mm -hmm. If it tastes anywhere as good as this makeshift Pula. Yeah. <laughs> so out of the leftover balls, I actually just put a sprinkle of cinnamon, 
and uh, then just put them in the oil. And they fried, fried up like little pulla balls. Well, I guess they're donuts, actually. Yeah, I guess it's technically. Fried donuts, yeah. actually, it's a donut. Yeah. Because yeah. this is what it's like, you know, when you get them in the shop, you don't know. The meat is so good. I underestimated you. <laughs> I had zero expectations. Or I mean, I had very low expectations. <laughs> Hello. Mm. Mm. No, you don't try that It's one. very, very yummy. Mm. This is like, I guess what the, the shop one is trying to be. But this is like the original. No, you didn't like it. <laughs> okay, spit it out. You didn't like that one. <laughs> You've achieved the real stuff. And the shop one is like the bad <laughs> fake one. Mm -hmm. I did it. What? <laughs> I did it. I did it. <laughs> mm -hmm. Christmas tree out of five. <laughs> Can you say Kusi? Kusi. Kauta Visi. Yay! Kusi There will of course be links to everything in the description that we have gotten from Berkegolpa.com. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, is there a link for where they can buy this? Maybe I should make them on those uh, Helsinki restaurant days. Oh my god, that would be hilarious. <laughs> and don't forget to check out the vertikalkopa.com store here in Helsinki if you want to check out the rooftop terrace that is open until the end of the summer. So you've got plenty of time. Definitely go down and check it out. Yum. Bye. Bye.